wife is totally addicted to him, first of all. So, so uh, you know, I, I'm not a big reality television show uh, fan. I, I don't uh, really like the format. I'm more of a History Channel guy, documentary and sitcom guy. Uh, but um, I, I, I don't think it's bad. I mean, you know, uh, uh, the producers are doing their job. They're creating scripted... Uh, well, they're not creating. They're 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 using situations to create scripted events, and and that's entertaining to the public because the drama is there, and, and the characters are are the people and stuff. And I get the whole thing, and my wife just totally loves it. I tried to explain to her that it's not real, you know, like reality TV isn't really real. Like it, it is, but it isn't. Like you know, the, the things are happening, but the way they edit it, you know, a person could say something, they cut away to the other person, and they're like rolling their eyes, but they really didn't do that in the moment that that other person said these things so she you know but I think uh, I don't I don't watch it myself you know I don't I don't like totally despise it or whatever but um, it's just not for me man you know but I don't think uh, everybody thinks, thinks it's making Jersey look bad you know that's what it's like I'm sorry you know there's there's a lot of good parts of, of Jersey and there's a lot of good people I, but I went down to the shore play clubs and all that some Jenkins Jenkinson's and all in places you know when I was younger and you know all all the dudes were you know that weren't the metal heads were were like what they have on the show and you know you know you know I have a lot of relatives in my you know and stuff like that that are, that are these kids and stuff and and I love them you know but uh it kind of is what it is and uh you know it sucks they don't show the other side of Jersey you know like it, it, everything's but but that's not very entertaining so you know I like the Jersey Shore thing it's pretty pretty entertaining but I'm not a big fan of the format in general I don't really watch it you know. But you know, if I'm laying in bed with the with with my wife and you know the housewives are on or whatever, you know, I do get sucked in a little bit. I'll be honest, but uh, but not for long. But that's all I'm gonna say about that. Well, Nuclear Blast is obviously a large company. Uh, they have a really really big uh, staff of people that are doing all sorts of, of, of uh, work there to promote you and things like that. So there's a whole team of people there um, to uh, get your product out there, if you want to call it. That's what they call it. But, you know, there's product managers and this and that. You know. But it's really your music. It's everything that you're, you're giving to the, to the world. And they help you get it out there. And they do do a great job of that. Uh, you know, the difference is, you know, you're, you're kind of like in a, you're in a bigger system. You know, you're part of a bigger machine, uh, and so it's a little. Uh, it can be a little feel a little distant at times with the label, but uh, but so far the experience has been good. It's it's too early to tell how things work out like this because you know, of course the press reaction was great to Iconoclast and the fan base at large really really loves the record. Everyone's really psyched about it, and you know it's a tough economy right now, so sales are sales are good, but they're they're not like blowing your your socks off good you know good so. Uh, it takes time for this band. We're not like the kind of band that just blows out the gate and you know have a hit single and all this other stuff to generate all these sales. Uh, so it's a different beast. This is a longer growing process. Nuclear Blast knows that. So we're we're still in the phases of of uh, growing the band. Uh, you know, over the next ten years. That's our plan anyway. And and uh, we're in phase one. And and so far it's been great. I mean, uh, the the people here in America. Uh, you know, and Gerard and, and Juana, they're, they're great. They, they are totally uh, fun to work with and, and, you know, it's really cool. So, so far the experience has been great. Inside Out was, was uh, you know, we, we birthed that label. I mean, you know, we were the, we were the first thing he, he kind of had going at Thomas Weber and, and, uh, and we kind of went through the whole thing with him, you know, coming up. Different experience. When you're, when you're, when you're the big fish in the little pond, so to speak, you know, it's a very close relationship. Uh, you know, this is a little different, but uh, but it's very good, and we can't. We're, we're happy with everything so far. The world's just going to shit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you know, I'm getting it right now. You hear that? You hear that? You know, this is this is no, it's me. It's probably my wife. I can't get in the venue. You know, there's always something going on when I'm home. But this is exactly your, the, the answer to your question. This thing here, this, there, there it is again. The, this device is now a, attached to me. And, and my children will probably have this, you know, chipped into their brain somehow. And you think I'm joking, but it's the truth. They'll probably chip this stuff. So you just get to go, uh, you know, the, how weird is that going to be? You're talking to someone all of a sudden, uh, hey, hold on a second, I got a call. Hey, what's up? Yeah, yeah, hold on, I'll call you right back. 
okay? And then, you know, that's where we're headed. So the whole theme of the record is basically, you know, getting lost in the, in the, and seduced by technology, of course, and, and uh, losing your humanity, you know, towards, toward, you know, everything's so video, and you can, everything is instant gratification these days, and, and uh, it's just going to get worse. So that's pretty much the main theme of the record, you know, uh, the technology becoming uh, too, too, uh, too allure, or t <laughs> giant robots, giant robots. You know, uh, we had a lot of fun making this record. Of course, you know, a lot of the fans out there, you know, they don't they the, they don't really know how we are dynamically as a band. We're we're not um, one of those guys that's you know we're not tweeting all the time about about uh, you know hey you know I I uh, you know I took a took a shower today and I borrowed Romeo shampoo, you know like I gotta clean my sock drawer out. We're just not those type of type of guys in this band. And and ironically, we write an album that's exactly what that is. We're talking about all that, you know. Um, so Iconoclast is that, you know, basically what I said earlier about about it being uh, the technology being too too intertwined into us, and we're losing our humanity. Basically, that's the whole theme of the album. But you know, we, we really don't tweet too much and talk about it and use the medium that that uh, we're criticizing. We're not really criticizing it, but it's kind of like a warning, if you will. You know, like this is what can go wrong. That's why the lyrics are, "You can be all you desire, an honest man, a vicious liar. Seek out the light or seek the dark." You know. You know, it's, it's, it's all about what you want to get out of the Internet. Because there's a lot of good things about the technology that's good, of course. Being that, you know, Facebook is the big, giant, 800-pound gorilla that's going IPO, I, I think, this week or whatever. Everyone's talking about. There's good and bad. It, it has brought people together, and it has ruined millions of relationships. There is no doubt, you know. Because all of a sudden, you know, there's, there's this good and evil side of things. There's a plus and a minus to everything, you know. I... I Myself, you know, I was able to reach out and, and, and get in touch with high school friends and stuff I haven't seen in a long, long time. And only because of Facebook was that even, you know, a possibility. Uh, so there's some good things there. You know, you can reconnect in circles of your life, you know, uh, in circles that you've lost or lost touch with over the years. And that's where it's a great thing. But the negative side is it's, you know, you know, it's just, it, there's just so much. Pe there's a lot of people out there that can, they're trying to hurt you, you know. Identity theft and all, and we so we deal with all that stuff in the record, you know. Come on, hit the switch, you son of a bitch! I'm devoured, broken too. Yeah, it's pretty. It's it's it can be readily accessible, you know. If you're careless, you can definitely uh, end up with your information out there. Uh, for the world at large. I mean, you know, th there's things where people just get your information because in this business, of course, I work with a lot of people, you know, and uh, the bus driver needs to know where I live to pick me up, you know what I mean, and these types of things, uh, you know, if that's the case, uh, you know, I mean, so you, you know, you kind of, it, it can be leaked out, I guess, but it's just, if it, that's the case, it's usually somebody in the, in the industry that's doing it, and if, you know, you know. I feel very sorry for the man who betrays me. You know, like so, it's it's uh, it can be ugly in that regard. But you know, you're trying to protect your family and stuff uh, in this in this business, and you know, uh, that kind of information is is very important to us as as musicians, of course, because we're gone a lot. You know, so so uh, yeah, it can be very very you know nerve wracking. You know that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, again, I mean, dude, let's be honest. I mean, um, you know, I'm uh, uh, you know. I'm not hanging out with a Lindsay Lohan tonight, and, you know, and on this one and that one, and uh, you know, not, not that I wouldn't want to, Lindsay, but uh, but the, the point is, is that you know, I'm not this you know big celebrity person that has to sweat that stuff. I'm a singer in a metal band, you know what I mean? It's like you know, you know, I don't have fans like you know, hey man, what's up? You know, dude, you know, you got a beer? Can I have a beer? Yes, my my friends, you know, we just caught by. I mean, you know, most people are obviously they're intelligent, you know, they they're respectful, and especially Symphony X fans, they're very very cool. Uh, and uh, you know so, but it is it, it does cross your mind that this type of inf information can get out there, and uh, people have to be very cautious about what they do, what websites they go to, you know, everybody everybody loves a cookie, but there's a certain cookie that you don't want to eat, and that's the cookies that are left on your on your computer from every every website you ever go to, you know, in case people don't know what cookies are. Uh, there are little bits of information about you that companies take and use, and they sell that to other companies because it creates a, a profile of things that you're interested in, and then marketing people can send you shit, you know, pretty much, you know. Uh, this has been around since the beginning of the Internet, you know. Um, so now it's getting out of hand, and uh, that's where the identity theft 
thing really started to come in from was because of that information collection and hackers getting in there and getting these database information and then tweaking it and using it and getting credit card numbers the whole nine. So it's a big evil, you know, it's a big problem and uh, there's a lot of money spent to, to fight this, but it's uh, somebody took my card and you know, number and went to a Walmart and just went buck wild, you know what I mean? It's just like, wow, what, do you, what can you really buy at Walmart for the amount of money that you know, they, they spent? Like, Seriously, dude? Really, man? I was amazed, you know, of course, you know, the bank was like, you know, hey, is it, and I was on tour at the time, and so, you know, I mean, it happens, man, you gotta be careful. What's done is done, I'm dead inside. Um, only when I'm really feeling frisky, you know, and I've been away from the, from the, from, from the, from the, from the home front there for a long time, I, I go, oh, you mean like search something, oh, okay, I thought that was like a new, a new thing. I want to try it. I want to Google myself tonight. Maybe uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, the uh, the Google thing I have I've been told about. You can Google anything that comes out about you. Yeah, you get Google alert. You know, uh, and and, uh, and I've uh, set that up. And uh, yeah, I, I have Googled uh, get the Google alerts. You know about things, but I haven't really searched myself. I think I did that one time uh, before. It was like I guess trendy to do that, and and it came out. I was like, wow. Like whatever hundred thousand you know hits, obviously there's not more Russell Allen's in the world than just me, you know what I mean? So, but uh, it was pretty wild, you know. It, once once you started building that sort of like name thing on the internet, it was it was it was interesting, you know. Then of course you, when you get the Wiki, Wikipedia uh, thing going on, it's like wow, I've, someone's actually taking the time to write down all this crap about me, you know. And uh, so it's a good feeling, and then it's like a like you said, like kind of like a like a scary feeling at the same time. It's like, wow, okay, so this is weird, you know. It is a weird, weird thing, but um, what are you gonna do about it? It is what it is. There's always the well, you know, but but that's that's another another band. But the the uh, the truth is is that you can sign uh, posters and you can sign merchandise that the fan wants to buy. Look, man, people are always going to want a piece of, of it, you know, and and, uh, and th we know it, they know it, and that's how we survive. I mean, the digital stuff, we get, we get uh, you know, next to nothing on stuff like that, you know, in most cases. Uh, you know, it just adds to the pile, uh, you know, for the record company to, to, to recoup from us and everything like this. And uh, the bottom line is that it's all about, like you said, the show, bringing the disc or bringing the thing to the show for us to sign. And um, in America, digital is very high. I think it's getting up into the 30s now, you know, 30% and higher, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it is growing, like you're saying. In Europe, it's not as much. It's still single digits. So it's different. And uh, nuclear, uh, nuclear Blast, uh, to, to talk about them again, they do a wonderful job of packaging and things like this and offering these really cool... Uh, packaging uh, mediums to to give to the fans of all their bands and you know we're working with them now to kind of get some stuff like that together you know but like I said it's a long arc of the album cycle with with uh, Symphony X and with Nuclear Blast so we're looking forward to that but without offering that kind of stuff yeah it's hard for the fans to really you know it's hard to, to entice them to buy the physical copy if there isn't something special about it you know if there isn't something more pictures more photos a bonus DVD you have to give more content in that medium in order for it to be viable but the future I think they need to do something honestly I really wish they would come up uh, the what would solve everybody's problems go back to vinyl you know just go back to analog vinyl it is the best quality of the music you can actually have vinyl is the complete analog signal it's not digitally, you know, crunched, and you know, it's it. You have to have a record player to play it. You know, you can always make a tape of it, of course, but to have vinyl, because no one makes an audio cassette t tapes anymore, you know, players and things like this. But to have a vinyl album, you get the full artwork. You know, I just wish, I wish, I wish this next generation of kids, you know, would be able to at least experience, you know, that on a large scale like we had growing up. I mean, it was kind of, that was when I was really small, like the vinyl thing was going out, and uh, you know, my mom and dad were bu buying those records on that meeting, because that's all there was. You know, I was more, I was the CD generation, of course, you know, and just like all, everybody today, but there was a time, you know, when I was really young, 
I've got my first Van Halen record, you know, on vinyl, you know, and I play the shit out of it, you know what I mean? And I had the old Kenwood speakers, and dude, there's just nothing like it, man, you know? The, the sound quality is just, if you're a music fan, and you, and, you know, vinyl's the shit, I just wish the industry would just wake up and realize that, you know, sometimes going forward with technology, and this is the whole point of the record, isn't necessarily, just because you can, doesn't mean you should. You know, am I a dreamer? Yes, of course. Are they ever going to go back? No. But it would be cool if they came out with a new way that vinyl or that medium of the actual disc that it's engraved on gives you that signal, that pure analog signal in a packaging and with a player that the industry can reinvigorate itself on. And it needs the help of the governments around the world and it has to be standardized and all done at once and then the industry can regrow again because it's dying. You know, it's dying on the label side of things and artists are struggling to get their music out. So it's a big problem, man, you know. But there's Russ Lyon's solution. Vinyl, baby. V for victory. All right. Anyway. Yeah! yeah! You can bring me! No, not really. I mean, you know, it, it, it was a great time in my life. Uh, you know, I, I met my wife there, I have a lot of good friends there. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was something that I did when I first uh, came out to, uh, to Jersey, um, and I fell in love with the, the, the area, obviously I stayed, I, I, I settled down here. And uh, that's a, it's a fond memory for me. I, I loved the guys I worked with. Uh, you know, you get into the politics of being in, show, in a show like that, and, and that's, that just sucks. You, you get, if you get too deep into the politics of rock and roll, it fucking sucks too, you know what I mean? It just, you know, those parts of that, 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 that aspect of my tenure there wasn't so fun. But, you know, that's because I was involved in management and everything like this at, at one time. And, you know, when you're on that side of the fence, it gets a little weird. Um, but... Um, I loved it there. I loved the show. I loved the guys. I loved the you know riding the horses and the camaraderie that we all had. Uh, so it was a good time in my life. I liked it. Is this life worth a question? Why? The reason is is because I just haven't finished the damn thing yet. I swear to you, I, I've been working on it for years. It's been something that I've been doing on the side when I haven't been uh, working on sy with Symphony X, of course, and you know now that I've got something else going on, you know it's been really tough to to get it done. And and uh, you know I don't know what I'm going to do with it at this point. I I um, I, w I have to finish it. I want to finish it, but I'm not going to I'm not going to rush it or compromise it for anything. Just to say oh, I need to get it done. You know I mean, uh, but at this point I might as well just do it the best I can with it. Uh, it's a great. It's a great record. Again, it's like Atomic Soul. It's a bit eclectic. Uh, you know, I don't have just one particular sound or style. I like. I'm covering a lot of different stuff, but it's still. It's, it has like a. It does have this classic rock feel at times, and then our classic metal feel, and that's just what I write. You know, that's what I like. You know, I like instant. You know, classics, man. I, you know, like I am always in the writing process. You know, even with Symphony X though too, with the singing parts, but always looking for that thing that sounds like it should. It was always there, you know, like, it was always there. Like, the song, you record the song, and it sounded like you recorded it ten years ago. In other words, it always sounded like it was supposed to sound like that. You know what I mean? So, and then it, to me, it, like, it, it makes sense. So, uh, I'm still in the process of finding those magic things, you know, in ter certain aspects of the recordings. But I've done all the music that's been recorded. Uh, most of the singing, it's, pretty much all the singing has been done. And then I've been in the process of trying to find engineers and you know and figuring out what I'm going to do with it. I'm really close to finishing it, but I don't know if it's going to be able to be done this year. I don't know, you know. I'm hoping, but you know, we'll see. I got a lot on my plate. <laughs> Just to say the least, you know. You know, I don't know what else to say other than that uh I thank God I'm still here. I thank God I'm doing it. And uh, and uh, you know, I'm 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 in it for life, man. This is what I do, and thanks to people like you and all the wonderful fans out there that keep me going. Uh, it's a tough gig being away from my family, but I'm out there. I'm out here for them too. I'm out here for my kids, and I'm I'm giving every bit of energy I have every night, and I'll always do that till the day I drop. Just like all my heroes. Love you, Ronnie. Mwah. Yeah. <laughs>